So if you're anything like me and you notice your keyboard not wanting to edit, you go ahead and double edit and you get stuck editing this flipping floor like 90% of y'all do. You'll edit this and then for some reason your keyboard will not let you edit this floor. Well, and that's actually your keyboard not keeping up with you, meaning your keyboard is running a little slow. So we're going to teach you how to optimize your keyboard to start hitting crazy, crazy edits and do everything you need to do in order to can keep consistency and overall beat your opponent in whatever situation you're in. So let's get right into it. And for those of y'all wondering, this is what it looks like after I did the optimizations. Now, this is me just holding my E button down. I'm not trying to edit this floor, but you could see how it's just spamming the E button after doing optimizations. That's because the actuation to my keyboard, to my PC, is so low that me just holding it down looks like a macro. Now, to start things off, you need to join this Discord, which will be linked in the description underneath the links for all the stuff you'll also need for later on in today's video. And what you need to do is actually go to this keyboard uh, thing here, where you can see this big old thing right here. You click download on this. And then it'll be right here. Click this, click download unverified file. It'll download, go ahead and close that. Open up your files because we actually need to run this as admins. So you right click here, click run as administrator, more info and run anyway. Now it's very easy to do, that's the basics. Now let this run, it's gonna make a restore point, meaning you can go right back to exactly where you are right now as if nothing happened. If anything bad does happen, but Nothing bad will happen, obviously. And then once you get in here, you click one to disable sticky keys. Is what we're gonna go ahead and start with. And it's gonna do that, press any key to continue, and you're good. Next, we're gonna do extra keyboard tweaks. Now keep in mind, these are all keyboard tweaks, not anything too, too crazy. But once we've done disabled sticky keys, we've done the extra tweaks, we're gonna go ahead and move on to three. Now make sure you're following everything I'm doing and you know, everything will be good. So go ahead and click three. Oh, I did a slash on accident, go ahead and click three. Now what this does, is it's gonna open up a file here. As you can see, a notepad is gonna open up this thing here. Now, it's gonna look a little confusing for a lot of you guys, but some of you may know exactly what you're doing here. But basically, this is gonna lower a buffer and make your keyboard basically run faster. And essentially what that buffer is, is it's the flow of data from your keyboard going into your PC. And the lower it is, the faster your keyboard is, you know, obviously. So in here, you want to find keyboard data queue size. You want to double click it. Make sure your thing is set to hexadecimal. And over here, you'll see um, what well, these numbers, right? Th this is what you need to be looking at. And we'll, from, uh, we'll, we'll look at from up here to down here, everything highlighted. And basically what this means is if you're on a low end PC, you want a higher number. If you're on a high end PC, you want the lower number, right? And now if you're on a high end PC, which I would classify my PC as high end, but it's getting towards the more of a mid end PC. I have a 4070 and an i7 13,700KF with 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM. So I have a decent PC there. So I'd, rec I would put it more on the higher end. And I'm also auto set to 14, which is the lowest number you'd go with. But the lower the number, the faster your keyboard will be. But if you're on a really, really low end PC and you put your your value data to 14, you could experience keyboard starters, which is really bad because that can make your keyboard actually worse rather than better, if that makes any sense. So definitely go ahead and if you're on like a mid end, try some of the high end numbers. But if you're on a low end, I wouldn't, I don't recommend going anywhere past this mid end level. Don't go to the high end if your PC's butt. Just, just stay on the low end to mid end. Go ahead and try a few of these, see what's better for you. And you're good to go. But keep in mind, you did make a restore point. So if anything crazy happens, well, just restore or just put this back to what it was. Remember what it was originally set to. Now, in order for these to actually work, you will need to restart your PC. So put it on the lowest number, which I have it on 14. As, as you can see, the high end is 14 through 16. So anywhere from between 14 through 16, put your keyboard to, make sure it's on hexadecimal, click OK, go ahead and close all this, and then you're good to restart your PC. I forgot to mention, if you don't know if you're on a high-end, low-end, mid-end PC, just go ahead and put your specs in the comment, se comment section, and you will be responded to, and you know, you'll be told what numbers you should be using. Now, a good number to be using is around 18 to 19. That's what works for most people, but you know, if you're auto set to 14 like I was, then just use 14, you know what I mean? And uh, you should know if you're high-end or low-end, but if you don't, 100% understandable, just put it in the comment section. Now, moving on in here, we actually are going to go ahead and go with the power plan. Now, if you've seen any of my other videos, you probably could have this power plan or another one, which as you see, I'm on one of the power plans from this optimization pack, but we're going to talk about this V1 version because this will actually lower the input delay on your keyboard. And then you just go ahead and click any key to continue. Now, if you do want the better version, which is the uh, power plan down here, this, um, 
the, the actual power plant not v1 this actually comes with the paid version so if you want the paid version that's also in the description you can take a look at that it is better than the v1 but the v1 is free for those of you that don't want to pay for anything which is also you know all in the description of the video Next, we're going to go ahead and close this, click any key to continue, and then go ahead and click 5 and click enter. And once you've clicked 5 and you click continue, you might see something like this pop up on your screen. Now, in order to know what file you need to open, you actually need to know the hertz of your keyboard. Now, I have an Apex Pro Mini, so what you can do is go to Chrome and look up what is the of a Apex Pro Mini. And then, boom, it'll search. It'll say a thousand hertz right there. Now I know a lot of you guys have an Apex Pro Mini, and 90% of the keyboards that a lot of you guys are using for gaming is going to be on a thousand hertz, anyways. So go ahead, but make sure you check, right? And then go to click whatever yours is. It goes all the way up to well, 4K through 8K. Now go ahead and right click this, click Run as Administrator. Now once this little pop up opens, you're going to go ahead and click this up at the top versus mice. Click keyboards, and then make sure this is set to a thousand for every single thing here. Set to a thousand, and then you want to click Install Service. Now let that do its thing here. And then once you clicked install service, go ahead and unplug your keyboard like I just did. You may have heard the disconnect and then plug your keyboard back in. Let it reconnect. And then as it reconnects, give it a few seconds to get back to its normal, everything like that. And then go ahead and close this and we're good to continue on. Go ahead and click any key to continue. Now that is actually it for the keyboard panel. Let's go ahead and move on to a few other things that I know you can personally do in order to make your keyboard run at its maximum speed that you're trying to accomplish. Also keep in mind, if you have not restarted your PC, uh, like you haven't seen me restart mine, then go ahead and restart your PC after doing all that before we move on. Now me personally for the video, I'm gonna go ahead and just close Fortnite and we're gonna go ahead and open up to the home screen because we need to go to our keyboard software and actually change a bunch of settings in here now i know a lot of you guys have done this so if you've done this well this is old news but for the people that haven't basically you're going to go in here go to your engine for your keyboard click gear if you're not on it click apex pro mini or whatever keyboard you were using and basically copy exactly what i have now i have my entire keyboard highlighted and then i want to actually turn on my um what's it called not shield sorry this right here which allows all of these to be set to a rapid trigger which makes the keys faster and then also highlight it again if you did unhighlight it it makes sure this is set to 0.1 up at the top which is the fastest speed of any keyboard right now now go ahead on w a s and d go ahead and turn off rapid trigger because with those on it actually makes it way harder to uh, have good movement. I know that's hard to explain, but if you want to go ahead and try it with it on, go ahead, you'll see exactly what I mean. You'll click W, and then it'll make you stop walking. Like, it's it's weird. I've been having that problem. Maybe that's a me thing, who knows. But everything else, go ahead and keep rapid on. Now, if you only want rapid for your edit key, like for me, it's only E, that is fine too. I can You can keep the, um, the rapid on there, right, if you want to. Now, also, for your entire keyboard, every single key, including WASD, you want to make sure the default actuation which is right here is set to the lowest as well which is 0.1 and you're good to go now i know you see rapid tap over here now this doesn't actually make your keyboard faster this just allows you to click two keys and strafe better in games like valorant or csgo so if you do want to turn this on that is 100 percent okay and no you won't get banned for rapid tap in any games you play it is 100 percent allowed but basically it just helps you with strafing now in here again we're gonna go over to the apex pro mini oh not that we're gonna go to prism now a lot of people think led lights will actually slow your keyboard down and this is true kind of now it's not gonna slow your keyboard down to a speed that you will notice now that mean meaning is if you want lights on your keyboard have lights on your keyboard it's not about to change nothing okay having lights on having lights off whatever you ain't gonna notice the difference and if you do you're a freak hey i'm gonna say hey buddy you're weird but all jokes aside, you are a little nerd if you do notice the difference between that. But other than that, that is it for today's video. If you did like the video, make sure you like, subscribe, share it to your friend. Check out the description for every single link that you need that was talked about in today's video. Don't forget to restart your PC. And if your PC grew legs and walked away, you have a restore point. Now, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all later.